Hi everybody, it's great to have Paul Keyes from Walk Through the Bible here. I'd like him to, to share with us a little bit about all we've got planned for you for the church weekend on the 8th to 10th of October. Paul, great to have you with us. Tell us, what is Walk Through the Bible and the Old Testament? Oh, <laughs> well, Walk Through the Bible is, is the easiest way I've ever seen for people to be able to piece together the story of the whole Old Testament uh, in a way that the Old Testament has always been a problem for people because it's not in a simple start to finish chronological order. Uh, it's in an odd order. And to be able to kind of unpick that and then put it back together again so that you can tell the story to a friend in just a few minutes starting at the beginning saying first this then this then this then this then this all the way through to the end of the old testament uh, so we do that in kind of fun interactive ways we lay the room out as if it was a map we see where people came from and where they went to uh, just so that it all it all makes sense so you can see the story inside your mind Sounds brilliant, and we th this is going to take place over five sessions in the course of the weekend, starting on Friday the 8th in the evening, and then through to the Sunday morning uh, services. Um, tell us, Paul, why is us understanding the Old Testament so important to us right now? Yeah, there's a, there's a classic bit of the Bible that's in the New Testament. It always seems awkward when you say, why Old Testament? Yes. And then I say, well, in the New Testament yeah. it says, but in the New Testament, uh, in 2 Timothy chapter 3, uh, it gives a whole bunch of stuff about Scripture. All Scripture is God-breathed and it's useful for rebuking, teaching, a whole bunch of different things, and for every good work. Uh, now, when the Bible says that in the New Testament, and it says all Scripture is God-breathed and useful for every good work, it doesn't actually mean New Testament. Uh, when it says Scripture, it means Old Testament. So when Paul was writing this, he was saying the Old Testament is God-breathed and actually gives you an idea of how you're not, not just going to understand what the Old Testament's about, but how is that going to influence the way you live your life? So when Jesus comes and he's talking about living the kingdom of God out, he's talking about how are we going to take all these details from the Old Testament and see them come to fruition. So he kind of puts his slant, his understanding of the Old Testament so we want to be able to do the same thing. Help people to see it, but not just so they see it, but so that they can start to live it out in a new way. Sounds brilliant. Tell me, is there something planned for children as well in the course of the weekend? Absolutely. Uh, we have a, a colleague of mine called Zoe who teaches in many of the schools in the Frinton area where we live. She's in Frinton, Walton, Kirby, Thorpe, uh, and she's happy to come uh, and he's going to do Friday, Saturday and Sunday with us and I know the children will enjoy spending time with Zoe. Fantastic. Um, very practically, I know we're going to have the first session on the Friday night, then three sessions in the course of Saturday and a hog roast, I gather, on the Saturday evening together. That's why uh, I'm coming. <laughs> Absolutely. And then we'll have the, the same thing twice on the Sunday morning at both of our services. How much is it going to cost? It doesn't cost a thing. Uh, we're going to take up an offering in the course of the weekend to cover our expenses, uh, which means that people can pay as much as they want. They can give as much as they want uh, towards the weekend. Um, Paul, is there anything else you want to tell us about the weekend? Yeah, I, I just want people to come and relax uh, and to enjoy the experience. I, I'm not going to come and 
test anyone, uh, see if you know all the answers Thank to the goodness. questions. <laughs> Whether that be at the beginning or at the end, there, there's no test at the beginning, there's no test at the end. There'll be playful ways to be able to enjoy the day. Uh, it's certainly, I've been through this again and again. Uh, the first walkthrough I ever went to was when I was 11 years old, back in 1984. You can work it out from that. Uh, and ever since then, I love to be able to share what was shared with me, uh, and I know you'll enjoy it. Uh, so just come, relax, enjoy it, and enjoy the hog roast. My goodness, Paul, you're 40 just like me. Uh, thank you so much, Paul. Do book away.